Welcome back to Diddly Squat Gaming, where we are heading to pick up some logs. And uh, I've had a couple. Oops. I know I attached my wing. Alright, anyway. We will uh, we'll pull that in as we drive. <laughs> Which is why we're going so slow. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on that truck. That might just that might just help out a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I've been uh, I've been told that uh, I don't want to go to Imara. I'm still trying to figure out how to pronounce it. Imendra, Imendra. Either Imendra or the I is silent and it's Mudra. Imendra, Imendra. I don't know. <laughs> Apparently, apparently I don't want to go there, so, uh, you know what, we're going there. We're gonna give it a shot. It's, uh, hopefully it's not nearly as, uh, hard as I'm worried it's going to be, but, you know what? That's the name of the game. I don't expect the maps to really get easier. Uh, I just expect them to be different, so, you know, it, it's, uh, it's one of those things, so. But anyways, let's, uh, yeah, let's just get on with it and, uh, we'll get our logs sorted. I still haven't figured out how I can do three trucks. I, I, I just don't think it's really possible without doing some weird snow runner stuff. I've seen, I've seen people where they stack trucks on top of other trailers and that sort of thing. And I just, I can't be bothered doing that. Um, if that's your sort of thing, you know, by all means do it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's just one of those things, so, uh, we're, we're just gonna roll with two, we're gonna see how, uh, see how well we do, and we'll go from there, and I'm gonna bounce off the biggest rock ever, <laughs> just kind of sticking out in the middle of nowhere. I hope that didn't, uh, yeah, I hope that didn't go off. <laughs> Hopefully that didn't, uh, you guys didn't hear that. If you did hear it, I apologize. If you didn't hear it, then you have no clue what I'm talking about, and, uh, I probably sound like I'm crazy. I think, was it easier to go this way? Uh, yeah, it is. Yeah. I remember correctly. My truck behind is a little close, but you know, it seems okay. The, the trailer back there is pretty light, and easily moves out of the way, so I don't think we're going to have too much of a problem. All right. Well, yep. Yeah, now, now we're getting now we're getting pushed by the truck behind us. And, you know, it's, it's fine. We'll just, we'll deal with a little bit of pushing. Sometimes it actually probably helps, like at that moment there. <clears throat> Alright, let's, uh, let's cut through this. I call this the factory. I know that's not the actual name of it, but uh, that's what I call it. Just because that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I can't read Russian, so uh, who would have guessed? Uh, oh, 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 oh. We're, yep, yeah, we're bouncing off of things like uh, a rag doll. Like I said in the last episode, you're gonna have to... I think the best thing to do is turn both trucks around. And then load the, uh, the logs on, because... They, uh, they really didn't give us... a way to turn around. Um, especially when you're fully loaded. 
you're you're literally pulling into it and then having to back out I guess is what they kind of wanted you to do but um yeah I never do what they want me to do I always do what I feel like I should do um and to tell you the truth I'm going to turn around in this little I, I almost called it a field I mean it's, it's literally just a snowy area hillside whatever you want to call it Back this up. Good thing it doesn't have to be perfect. Nor do I have to worry about damaging my uh, truck from the trailer. Like you would in real life. <laughs> you just kind of do what you want to do. Alright, so. We've got our long log. We have our first truck ready to go. Let's see here. squeeze through here real quick. Should be more than an adequate. Uh, whoops. Wrong truck. What? It, is it not highlighting the other as off? Alright, we'll just, we'll just do that. It's fine. Uh, I probably should have turned the other truck off, but, uh, ah well, too late. We're gonna we're gonna fall on the same footprints. And wow, that is a that is a big difference of uh, how much traction changes between trucks and is it tires? Is it the truck itself? Uh, chances are we may never know. I'm going to say it's a little bit of both. Although we're still... We're still getting a good amount of traction, so... That's at least the positive thing. And I think we have, what? 8 wheels versus 10 wheels? Yeah, I believe that truck up there only has 8. Uh, depending on if... And it depends on if uh, this has duels on each axle. Because if no, nope, no, nope, it doesn't. Just the trailer does. Okay, I couldn't couldn't quite remember. Um, but yeah, we definitely have uh, a little bit more wheels on this truck, but less traction. So let's go ahead and anchor this up. We're going to hmm. Where where am I going? First of all, we got to go over here. So I. Th I think what we'll do is we will go this way, we'll cut out this way, come down this way, drive across that way. Yeah, there's really no good way to get around here. We're gonna just have to do our best, I guess. Do I take the main trail? I feel like the road, I feel like this road is better, but I don't remember. It's, it's been a while since I've been over here. All right, and that should take us probably the entire episode to get over there. So let's get underway. Uh, we're down to 90 gallons of fuel. We've got a couple, we've got a little bit of fuel here. That truck has nothing as far as extra fuel, so we may end up we end may end up having to get a fuel tanker out here. And if we do, I think I can. I think I'm gonna pick. I know what vehicle I want to pick. Uh, it's been a while since we've used it. And uh, yeah, the the other thing that I'm excited about going to. Amirdra. I still don't know if I'm gonna. I'm probably never gonna pronounce it correctly, so I do apologize. Uh, but the one thing that I'm excited about going to is finding the. Uh, I believe it's the all-wheel drive for the twin steer. 
because I've, I've heard once you get the all-wheel drive from the twin steer that truck is pretty pretty much unstoppable so no I knew you were gonna do that ah uh, these trucks and following are not uh, not very accurate they don't stay behind the truck as well as they should all right well let's just seven series what was that I think I was calling this the five series last episode it's the six series that's uh that's fun and slightly embarrassing but whatever I, I could have sworn it started with five All right, so we're down to 65 gallons in this thing. We're pretty low. We're probably the, well, we're a quarter of way through our fuel, so I think we might need to get that uh, fuel truck set up. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's change trucks. Nope, not change trucks. Let's winch the truck. That's what we're going to do. All right, now we are. Heading to open water. I feel like this is the uh, part of ice road truckers when they first crawl out onto the ice. And they over dramatic dramatic size it. They make it over dramatic. And all you hear is the, like, cracking. It, it, it's the exact same sound you hear every time they do it. Um, and I don't know, I've never actually driven a heavy truck onto ice. It may actually do that. Uh, but it just kind of feels like they do it for TV. Uh, we're going to need to figure out how to cross this. Um... Yeah, I think we gotta go. Oh, that's that's not good. That's that's cracked ice all the way across. I'm gonna cross here where it looks like it's the skinniest. And this this spot here might not actually crack. Okay, I lied. I lied. It cracked. Okay. Can we get some momentum to yank that truck through. Yes, we can. All right, perfect. Um, now we gotta cross again, yay! If I went down there, I could've just crossed one. I think we're good just to cross here. That's pretty, pretty minimal there. I wonder if the, uh, I wonder if tire whip debates whether or not you fall through the ice or if you kind of skim across the top of it. I know a wider tire obviously spreads the weight out more, so you'd think, but the size of these trucks, I, I kind of have a feeling it doesn't matter. <laughs> Although the wider, wider tire would probably give you more traction to get out once you fall through. But you know what, that's that's something I don't really have to worry about. Does I can't really change it, can I? So all I can do is avoid crossing the river where it uh, is clearly going to be ice that breaks. So. Alright, now we're back kind of on the main strip and I, I say kind of because there's not really a whole lot why did you do that why did you do that just come on keep coming keep coming don't get hung up thank you <clears throat> sorry I was talking to the truck behind it, uh, it really does like to turn way before it should
That's all right. All right. Uh, Hmm. Yeah, this this part it, it seems boring, but it's it's kind of nice because there's no there's no drama here. It literally is just a nice, simple, easy drive. I don't have to go too crazy. I don't have to worry about rolling over. I mean this. This looks a little sketchy here. Uh, I'm going to detach that because I have a feeling, yeah, that truck was heading straight for that telephone pole. Let's get this, uh, let's get this up the hill at least before we uh, reattach everything. And this time, this time I'm going to be smart. And I'm going to shut it down. <laughs> uh, change trucks to the 7 Series Azov. Come on, start up. Was it already, maybe it was already running. I think, it, I think it was already running, which is strange. Alright, here we go. Perfect. Crisis averted. Although I'm already I'm already looking at tanks being half empty. This might just be one of those things where we have to uh We have to get a fuel truck out here. Um, let's fire up that engine so we can attach a winch. I wish you could attach a winch without the truck running. It's it's kind of minor, but at the same time, I feel like all winches can be hooked up without the truck running. They, I believe, most of them run off of uh, battery, anyways. So yeah, maybe, maybe you can't winch it in once you hook it up, but you can easily unwind it and then hook it up and go from there. So I don't know. It's uh, one of those things they did for certain reasons. All I can do is speculate and uh, question and sometimes complain. Uh, I don't think we have to worry about anything dipping over here. Yeah, no, should be good. Hope we have enough room there. Yeah, we're we're kind of close. Uh, yeah, and this, I, I'm just gonna go straight through. I'm gonna trust in the abilities of uh, the Zeke's six twelve RS now. H six twelve H, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just crawl through this mud. Two hours later, took a long amount of time to get through, and now we're stuck because Mr. Azov back there wanted to turn way before he should have. Way before. Maybe I should have the Azov in front. I don't know yet. Uh, stop engine. Because, yeah, this, this crashing into things. It's kind of annoying. And, uh, yeah, this truck is definitely not as good in the, uh, the mud. 
I'm I'm almost tempted to uh, to sell all my trucks and then just go with two of like all the good models that I use. So like two of the two of the Azov six series or two of the Zeeks and two of the Dairies and, and so on and so on. So um just so that when I do road trains like this, I have the same truck, the same capability, and yeah, everything's fine. But uh, I don't know, something just something tells me that that's not as much fun. <laughs> you definitely wouldn't have as much entertainment. All right, so we're more than 50% gone with our gas, so uh, I'm getting a little nervous. I don't think we have a fuel stop or a fuel trailer that's around here. If, if we have one already on the map, that isn't too far away, I might just drive that over. Uh, but if we don't, then I definitely want to bring out a old friend of ours that we haven't seen in quite some time. And I want to see, I want to see what it's capable of, so I don't think we have any upgrades for it since uh, we last used it, but we'll, we'll double check before we bring it out. Hey, look at this thing. This thing is just crawling up these hills. Alright, this is where I have to turn wide because the, uh, truck behind is going to, to get stuck. Probably on that tree right there. Yep, so let's see if we can try to go around. Uh, nope, one more time. Maybe, hopefully, sort of, possibly. Yep, nope. It's, uh, it's stuck, as usual. Um, thanks guys, this uh, telephone pole in the way is very helpful. I don't want to go too far, but at the same time, I think we're going to need the help to get the other truck across. Um, we're kind of glitching through this tree. I like how the axle there just passes through it. And I don't think it's the trailer that is hitting it. Alright, let's see if I can, uh, catch our winch there. Try to pull ourselves. Off that tree some more. No, straighten out, straighten out. Alright, perfect. Okay, let's hope we can do that again. And you know what the best part about this is? I get to do it all over again. Because we need three, not two, we need three. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's shut this down. We will jump into the Azov and let's see if we can get this guy through without any issues. And no, we we can't. <laughs> right off the bat, we uh, run into some rocks. So go figure. All right, so we'll go nice and wide here. That should help us with our angle here. Um, uh, you know what I'm thinking too? Is that we are going to have an issue with the vehicle that I want to use as the fuel tanker. Because uh, I don't think they're going to be able to fit through here. You know, they might be able to, 
We might be okay. You know, we can try and see what happens. All right, cool. Well, that was that was actually pretty decent. Um, I guess it helps because I already basically done it once before, so I kind of knew the path I had to take. All right, I'm I'm assuming I'm still on the right path. <laughs> I always check at the worst possible times, just because I uh, I have a tendency of overshooting where I want to go. And I think the last time I was through here, I was in the uh, the tartan, so that might have uh, that might change. All right, Sean, hopefully get up there. Take your time, it's fine. We've got, we've got all day. Was there a better path that I could have taken? All right, we are slowly inching forward. I think we're moving forward, aren't we? Yes, we are slowly moving. If I do that, you can kind of slowly see the cab getting closer to that fence. So we're just going to sit here and wait. Okay, I lied. Uh, we're going to detach that truck. And then we're going to try to winch it up. Let's see, well, it's coming up the hill, so that's a good sign. I just touched that pole. <clears throat> All right, uh, what's going on back there? Everything looks okay. We are clearly in some very deep, deep snow. But at the same time, it's pretty hard packed, so. Uh, let's try not to hit that hole. Speed up, speed up, speed up. Yay, speed. Okay, we're flying now. We're in second year. We're doing a whopping 15 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Miles per hour. I don't know. I, 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 I forget which. It all depends on what truck you're in. Speed isn't really important, is it? Is it all that important in this game? Probably not. So let's keep left. Not that far left. Okay, the truck behind me has uh, chains on, so it's not sliding like I am. I gotta make sure that it doesn't end up crashing into the opposite side of the, uh, the cliff there. Should be okay. We'll pass that. With no problems. Yay. And I think I see it. I think I see where we need to go. All right, we're down to 23 gallons in this truck. We're about an eighth of a way. We have an eighth of a tank left. Um, let's see. Let's see what we're dealing with. 
This is our first time looking at a midra. And big surprise there, it's a snowy map. Full of pine trees. Alright, is there any signs of fuel anywhere nearby? There's not even signs of light. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, it looks like we're at a higher elevation than the rest of the map. And we kind of work our way down into the maybe a valley. Um, well, it's pretty. I'll give it that. Oh wait, let's turn that truck on behind us so we can uh, actually move. And I have no clue if I'm going any which direction. Um, I'm going to stick to the main road, I guess. Where is the... We got to go way over here. We got to go almost a full mile. But yeah, I'm definitely going to follow the main road here. I'm hoping we can at least get down around this corner to see if we have a fuel tanker or a gas station or even another vehicle that's full on gas. We do have our reserves on top. Um, I actually don't remember how much. We've got 48. So let's go ahead and throw. Oh, there's 14 gallons there, so that's good. We've got a little bit on the back of this truck, too. Not just in the roof rack. So that's convenient. Maybe we'll save that fuel for the truck behind us. Because usually the truck being towed doesn't use nearly as much gas. Even if it is running. Uh, there's water down there, but it looks awfully sketchy. Uh, what are we, what are we looking at? We gotta go that direction. I'm really hesitant of taking that trail there. Uh, but then again... That doesn't quite look like it's out. So there's a building here. I really don't know what to do. It looks like a van. It looks like the, uh, whatchamacallit, um, the K-H-O-N. Ah, uh, I, my gut says to go this way. That is still a long ways. I don't think we can take the water I think that's water. Yeah, that looks like it's actual water. Could just be ice. Come on, bounce your way through. You can do it, truck. Come on. Come on. I know you got it in you. You can do it. Uh, this looks nice and sloppy. Alright, this is where having the two trucks comes in handy. We can probably get a nice little push from the truck behind. Or we didn't even need it at all. Yeah, looks like we didn't even need it. Uh-oh. Now we do. Alright, let's uh... Grab onto a tree. And pull. It, it's so convenient that they place boulders there. Uh, let's catch the wind. Uh, 
Come on, get up that hill. Yeah, I knew you were going to be way off track. Uh, maybe this was a bad idea. I guess that is ice. The edge of it's definitely ice. Okay, we're still kind of he heading in the right direction. Uh, let's actually fix. Let's get this truck up this hill. Come on. That tree's not gonna help. Oh, wow. Look at that. I said the tree wasn't going to help and it did. Uh, isn't that the way SnowRunner goes? Let's see. Can we get... Maybe that tree? There we go. That should do the trick there. I don't understand why it wants to attach, attach to the back of that truck first. More times than not, that is uh, exactly what it wants to do. Alright, and I think I've pulled that truck in way- yeah, I did pull it in way too close. Alright, so we've got... It looks like a mess of beams here. I'm going to try to go around it. I don't think you're going over that very easily. And I'm also going to detach the trailer behind us. Alright, uh, change trucks. Ooh, we are down to two gallons of fuel in this thing. Can we refuel from here? No, we can't. Oh, I don't have to back down the hill. No! Oh, this kind of ran out in the worst possible spot. <laughs> yep. We gotta get the body of our truck close enough. that close enough? Yes, it is. Oh, I can't believe that's close enough. <laughs> Let's fuel up with all 14 gallons. It, it's a huge, huge amount of fuel. And I, I didn't even notice that I went dark. Actually, you know what? We can just go straight. Lock it up there. Let's stop the engine because we are dangerously low on all fuel fronts. Uh, let's go ahead and change truck. Got a whopping 14 gallons in this thing. And really, really crappy headlights. I'm honestly shocked that I have not upgraded the headlights in this thing. There we go. Let's change trucks back. Probably should have started it before I turned off the uh, parking brake. There's some headlights. Where am I going? Why am I not attached? Uh, I'm not attached because yeah, yeah, I'm I'm an idiot. I switch trucks. That that didn't attach. 
Okay, let's back up a little bit more. There we go. Alright, what are we looking at for trails? Uh, it goes pretty straight, so... Apparently we have to go... Do we go to the left or the right of the watch or the uh, radio tower? I think we just go straight. Yeah, we just keep going straight through. And this looks like some type of building, so hopefully there's fuel here. If not, I am going to make a long drive in a very old friend of ours, and I kind of, kind of want to do that. Maybe I'll do that anyways. I don't know. I'm quite excited. Uh, what is- oh, 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 I see fuel! We made it. We don't have to worry about fuel. This kind of looks like an airship. It's, uh, knocked on the fence. Okay, I'll just run through it then. Apparently the Russians made a solid fence. Ooh, there's also another truck there as well. Um, probably not the smartest thing to, uh... Uh, let's do trunk supplies. Oh, look, yeah. There we go. And then service kit. Look, no, release wench. She's. I almost, I almost screwed that up completely. Ooh, let's, let's accept the task. Except, ooh, fifty-two hundred dollars. That's not too bad. Stop the engine. Oh, of course, I'm too far away. Uh, let's refuel this thing. Boom. And nope, screwed that up. There we go. So that tanker is already down 200 gallons of fuel. Just like that. Alright, so what are we looking at? Where are we and what is around here? Doesn't look like anything. Um. I suppose we have to figure out how we want to get to where we're going. And how do we want to do that blind? Oh, there's also a uh, trailer here. Is that a trailer? Yeah, that's gotta be a trailer. Did I already discover it? Alright, so, I mean, it looks like this road goes up to the right. I think that's the way we're gonna go. We'll pass a watchtower. Um, crap. Let's, uh, back up and hook up. I think I'm just going to cut through the fence. This may be a bad idea because I see stumps. I see stumps and you know, we all know what happens when you see stumps. Is that even a road? Yeah, we're going to crash. Yeah, no, this is a road. Of course it's a road. All 
All right, before we get too far. Since we so nicely damaged the truck on the side of the building. All right, that should be good. Let's switch back. Change trucks. Nope, not change trucks. Attach wind. Got what I was doing. All right, let's just head off. Um, I'm guessing the watchtower is up there on the cliff. Yeah, probably won't be able to get to it. Uh, we will need chains to get to it. Or is this just seriously? I know that might just be a way down. And uh, to be honest, which way is the road? Yeah, no, it's definitely saying the rocks are the road. I suppose we'll just climb up and over them. Come on. You can do it. You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to edit way too much on this this episode. <laughs> yes, I've learned something and I'm gonna try to implement it. And hopefully I don't do it overdo it. But uh Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it a shot. And apparently I detached the winch, so, so that's good. That's great. Hmm. You know what? Let's just keep going. We're gonna we're gonna kind of scout this out. I, I feel like the as often can uh, do this easily. So there's a nice. I didn't even see that view. Ooh, is that a castle on the middle of an island? How oh, pretty. Uh, where am I going? Maybe I want to. Uh, let's stop the engine there. This this is why I suggest you scout first before just blindly coming across. I think where we're going is all the way across the river. And we are nowhere near where we need to go. Oh, okay. So apparently rocks are not good for this truck. Rocks bad. Very bad. Um, very, very bad actually. <laughs> All right, well, let's try attaching the winch. With that? I don't think it's gonna attach to that. Okay, I was wrong, it does. Oh. Yep, there's a, there's a rock face there, that didn't do. <laughs> that didn't do what I wanted to do at all. Uh, let's try to actually go this way. The direction I plan on going. Uh, get through there. Okay, we've got the telephone pole, so that's a good start. Could you imagine if I'm doing all this for um, no good reason because we're we're on the wrong side of the lake? That would be uh, that would be fun. And we're stuck. All right, I have I have a sinking feeling that Ooh, I screwed myself. Um, I 
Yeah, I'm going to... I can't even detach. Ah, oh, I want to take this truck and detach it so that I can head up the hill. Oh, I did not realize I was stuck. Um... There we go. I, uh... don't know what to do. Alright, I guess, I suppose... Yeah, like... Well, maybe it's a... Let's go ahead and stop it. Um, let's change trucks. Let's keep going, see... What happens. It looks like it's a lake, so maybe I can get around this way. Although I see... Uh, Uh, I should have came. I should have came and scouted. Uh, what was I thinking? All right, headlights will help. All right, headlights help everything. That doesn't look too bad. I don't think... I, I, I think we're in trouble. I think therefore I am, right? Um... Seriously. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. That truck is not getting through here. If I'm if I'm struggling this much with this truck, that truck is not getting through. We gotta turn, turn. Ah, uh, crap. There was a bridge. Oh, oh, goody. Are you choking me? Um, I feel like I'm uh, in Lord of the Rings right now. Alright, well, I guess, I, I guess this is where I'm going to end the episode. Uh, we've got some work cut out for us because this is not a bridge. Uh, but not all, not all hope is lost. Is that, is that the saying? Not all that is lost is hope. Something like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode there. Let's go ahead and shut off the truck. Because... Yeah, it's, um. It's, it's not looking good for right now, so. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did and you made it this long, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe because it does help the channel out a ton. And uh, we will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.